Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder, and I've got a Reddit story for you. This one is from the AITAH subreddit and is titled, Am I the Astronaut for Grounding My Daughter for How She Acted at Mother's Day Breakfast? My husband, 32 male, and I, 32 female, have a daughter, Mia, 12 female, as well as sons, 10 male and 9 male. We all went to a Mother's Day breakfast with my siblings and parents. We had a reservation at a high-end restaurant. My sister, Courtney, 37 female, has two kids, 13 female and 11 male. Her son, Dudley, has a friend from basketball whose parents are from the Philippines. My sister and her husband, and no one in her family really except Dudley, are not sports people. But ever since he could walk, Dudley has loved basketball. His parents put him in a program at two, and that's where he met his best friend. Dudley has gifts from his friend from the nation and has gone on vacation there with him. Dudley was wearing some traditional outfit from the tribe his friend's family is a part of. I don't remember the name of the outfit or tribe, though Dudley mentioned it. Mia is unfortunately going through her preteen, mean girls phase right now. We have tried everything, but she's still acting out. Mia made comments as soon as she saw Dudley, asking him why he was wearing something so ugly. She asked him if he was shopping for clothes in the dark. I told her to stop, but she continued to make fun of him. When Dudley explained what he was wearing, Mia said, Those people must be weird. Referring to the tribe Dudley's friend is a part of. At this point, I told Mia to get up and told her we needed to speak. She got up and I went to the car with her and told her to knock it off. She told me no. After some arguing, we went back and finished our food, and then we drove home. When we got home, I told my husband we needed to speak. After speaking, we told her she was grounded for a week and took her phone away. We went to my sister's house to exchange gifts. While there, my mom said she is upset at how we punished Mia. Is it the ghosts again? All, all the ghosts here? Spooky shit. We went to my sister's house to exchange gifts. While there, my mom said she is upset at how we punished Mia, saying that she's only 12 and we are being too hard on her. She said that Mia will make mistakes and that taking her phone away is too harsh of a punishment and will only make her resent Dudley. Am I the astronaut? Top comment here. Tell your mother that raising your child is your business, not hers, and you are not going to put up with bad behavior and intentional rudeness. And if you can manage to look at her pointedly, hinting that you also mean her behavior, so much the better. There is no mean girl phase. She's being mean, and you punish her to teach her to not be mean. NTA, taking your phone was my first thought, and it's warranted. I I, I mean, yes, this day and age, taking, uh, taking a teen's phone is definitely, like, one of the most painful things that you could ever accomplish because they're stuck to it like this, right? And you take it away, and they're like, holy shit, what is this world behind my phone? I don't know what to do with it. I don't understand it. I don't want it. So, yeah, I mean, that creates pain, pain creates change. The big problem that I have here with Mia's behavior, not with how it was handled, it's NTA. Let's get that out of the way. NTA, for grounding your daughter for how she acted at Mother's Day breakfast, hell no. Mom's getting in the way, saying that she doesn't approve, cool. I don't approve with a lot of the, a lot of the shit that you did when uh, you were punishing me as a kid, but parents are the only ones that get a vote, huh? When they went to the car, she told her to knock it off and Mia said no. That's this. That is like, okay, we've identified that there's an issue. We've identified that there's a behavior that needs to be stopped. Your traditional mouthy teenager at this point would argue with you about why it wasn't bad, but straight up defiance and just saying no, like, okay, come what may. If you, <laughs> if you are warned about something, you're told to stop something as a kid and you say no, you are choosing the come what may path. You are choosing punishment. You are choosing to get in trouble. You are choosing to be punished. Mia chose this when she defied the order from mom to stop the bullshit. It got bad enough that she had to take her out of the restaurant to have this conversation. That wasn't bad enough. That wasn't embarrassing enough. This girl has some cojones to just be like, no. What would you do if your kid... If you had to take them out of a restaurant to have a conversation about behavior that they were exhibiting and told them to knock it off and they said no, what would you do? I think the phone is probably step one. There's probably something more serious that needs to happen here. And it varies by kid about what would create the kind of pain that would create some change here. But I, I think an apology is in order, right? Is it not? Is there not an apology in order? <laughs> Ah, Candy Thunder just messaged me and said, I just realized this girl is Navy. No, she's not. Now, Navy Thunder, Navy Thunder, uh, she's been like this a little bit for a while, but getting out of her routine, you know, post being displaced by tornado and stuff has definitely heightened her, uh, her teenage girl attitude. She just turned three and she goes for the jugular with her words. 
when she's upset or acting out. She just like the amount of people that she said that she did not love in the past week has been terrifying. She just goes straight for the most pain she can cause. Oi, uh, defiant, it's open defiance, Susan R.S. Like there needs to be a public apology and it needs to be heartfelt and she better freaking mean it or she's going to stay in her probationary period with no phone, probably doing chores. Like there's got to be some pain felt here to know that this is not okay. It's not okay. Yeah, uh, no wasn't an option when I was a kid. I didn't know, I didn't know no was an option. So they went, wait, let me back up a second here because what happened after she said no? After some arguing, we went back and finished our food and then we drove home. Ah, so OP, I, I have I have a little bit of an issue here. Yeah, there's a no, wait, what? Uh, she said no, they argued a little bit and then they went back into the restaurant. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but if my kid is behaving in a disrespectful way, way, I remove them from the environment, tell them to stop, and they say no, they aren't going back into the restaurant. Nope. They can sit in the car running, of course. They could sit in the car without a phone. <laughs> Annette says my mom was only 4'11", and my brothers would bend down so she could slap them. 